second graders. I'm so excited to have you in my class this year. I'm Mrs. White, and I have a story that I'd like to read to you guys today. It's called Be Who You Are by Todd Parr. It's really great, so I hope you will enjoy it as much as I did. So first, there's a little note from Todd Parr to you guys. It tells you why he wrote this story. So it says, Dear Reader, when I was growing up in a small town in Wyoming, I felt like I didn't fit in. The other kids were interested in sports, but I wasn't. For my fourth grade class photo, I wore a clip-on tie and purple sunglasses because I thought it was cool. But nobody else did. It was hard for me to learn to read and follow along in class, so I was always trying to figure out how to fit in and be like everyone else. Finally, I realized it's easier and more fun to just be who you are. Love, talk. Be who you are. Be old. Be young. Be a different color. Wear everything you need to be you. Speak your language. And in our class, we have kids that speak lots of different languages, which is super awesome. Learn in your own way. Be proud of where you're from. Be your own family. Just be who you are. Be silly. Be brave. Dance. Play. Discover. Learn. Read. I love to do all of those things. How about you guys? Share your feelings. Happy, mad, sad, silly, scared, proud. Those are all feelings. Just be who you are. Try new things. Eat tacos, pizza, noodles, pizza. There's a little pizza one again. Yum. I like all of those things. Be confident. Stand up for yourself. The little mouse is saying no. Be energetic. Be peaceful. The little sign says keep calm and do yoga. Be the best that you can be. Just be who you are. It doesn't matter what color you are, where you are from, or who's in your family. Everyone needs to be loved. Always love yourself and be who you are. The end. Love taught, who's the man who wrote the book. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this story.